Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I ask that you find yourself in a comfortable seated pose. Any seated pose that feels good for you, may you find that seat. I am sitting in a lotus, half lotus. Once we find our comfortable seated pose, may we take a nice deep intentional breath in. Hold the breath. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Maybe we notice how our shoulders relax downward away from our ears with each exhale. Maybe we can gaze downward toward the earth. Taking in nice natural breaths here. Noticing how the down gaze and the natural breath relaxes and soothes our mind and our body. In today's session, we're going to discuss awareness. And what is awareness, actually? Awareness is being aware of our feelings, thoughts, and emotions. Awareness is being aware of our habits and patterns. Awareness is recognizing when situations, things, people, music, songs, when anything triggers us and we are aware that we have been triggered by a certain situation, that is awareness. And the beautiful thing about awareness is, once we become aware, we can often make changes based on our triggers. Once we are aware, we can actually notice the things that, that upsets us. And we can notice the things that makes us happy, the things that brings us motivation, and inspiration, et cetera, et cetera. Which is why we are going to spend some time discussing awareness. Once we become aware, change is possible. When we are not aware of our emotions, when we are not aware of our triggers, when we are not aware of our angers, change is impossible. Maybe we can sit in silence for a couple of seconds and focus on awareness. Gazing downward towards the earth. Noticing how we feel in this present moment. Being aware of our thoughts, feelings, and emotions without judgment, simply noticing and taking a mental note of what is going on within. Maybe we are laying down in our beds, simply listening to this session and not having any intentions on doing any of the movements here today and that is perfectly fine or maybe we are sitting in our seated pose that too is perfectly fine what we are doing is we are being aware of how we feel in this present moment we are going to listen to our body and our mind thus our mind may tell us to relax and lay down or our mind may tell us to sit on a sofa, on a floor, on a yoga mat. Whatever feels good for us, I am just a guide here today. 
So I will make suggestions on what we can do, but if whatever I say isn't suitable and comfortable for your well-being or your intuition for that moment, I invite you to do what feels best for you. I am just a guide making suggestions. So as I sit in my easy seat, lotus, half lotus, may you find your relaxation here. I do ask that we gaze our eyes downward or close our eyes, whatever feels best for us. Because we are gonna use the down gaze to help bring us centered here today. Using the down gaze to help us become present here at this moment. Inhale. Hold in a breath. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Finding our minds and our bodies are becoming completely relaxed here. Going inward and listening to the intuitions of our bodies and mind. Listening to the intuitions of the universe. Simply being aware. Bringing our palms together at heart center, we are in our seated prayer. Gazing downward towards the earth. Noticing how we feel within our bodies. Inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale, exhale, allowing our hands to fall by our side, noticing how our bodies feel, our palms are touching the earth, shoulders are up nice and tall, tummy is nice and tight, our spinal cord is nice and long. Breathing in and breathing out. Allowing our left arm to come up in the air. Hovering our left arm above our head as our body leans towards the right. Shoulder is relaxing downward towards the earth. Noticing how this feels within our body. Our tummy is tucked nice and tight. We are completely relaxed here. Exhaling back to center. Checking in with our bodies. Allowing our right arm to lift above our head. As our bodies lean to the left, tummy is nice and tight. Noticing how we feel within our bodies. Hmm. Exhaling back to center. Relax in our bodies. Inhale. Noticing how the breath makes us feel. Exhale. Bringing our palms above our heads. We are in our seated salute. Tummies are nice and tight. Palms are above our head. Slightly gazing forward. Maybe we can bring our palms together, allowing our hands to touch, connect. 
feeling the vibes of our palms together. As we exhale, palms down to heart center, seated prayer. Continuing to gaze forward, noticing how we feel. Inhale. Exhale. Allowing our palms to fall to the sides of our bodies. Palms facing down, relaxing on the earth. Shoulders continuing to be nice and tall. Spinal cord is nice and long. As we gaze downward. Noticing how the movement and the breath relaxed and soothes our mind and our bodies. Simply noticing, simply being aware. Allowing our shoulders to fall downward. Aware of how this feels. Taking notice. Bringing our palms back together at heart center as we find ourselves in our seated prayer. Maybe we can thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to take some time today to do self-care. Simply being aware, using the breath, using the down gaze, and using the silence help us work on our awareness here today. And today what I have in mind is COVID-19 and how we are dealing. May we use the next couple of seconds to critique how COVID-19 has affected us. Maybe we can relax our hands downward into our laps, allowing our bodies to completely relax as we continue to critique the effect of COVID on our daily lives. May we critique without judgment. We are working on simply being aware of the effect here today. What has this year taught us? Did we learn anything? May we critique and think open-mindedly and without judgment. Lifting our shoulders up towards our ears. Rolling our shoulders towards the back. Lifting our shoulders up towards our ears. Rolling them to the back. Noticing how the shoulder rolls feel within our bodies. Now that we are aware, maybe we can ask ourselves, why is self-awareness important? What does being aware 
do for us. I would like to touch base on the four beautiful thoughts of life. Look back and get experience. And anything in life, good or bad, if we are aware of, we can always look back and get experience. We look forward and see hope. We have no fear. We know and we are aware that good and bad times are both equally important. We are aware that good times often outweigh the bad times. And because we are aware, we look forward despite the situation and we see hope. Thought for life number three, Look around and see reality. For what it is is what it is. We are in a virtual reality age. We work and go out when we can, and when we do, we must wear a mask to protect you and to protect me. That is our reality. Thought for life number four, look within and find yourself. I repeat that, look within and find yourself. As many of us know with COVID-19 going on, we are all looking within ourselves and finding ourselves. We are learning how strong we are. I mean, after all, the only way to find ourselves is to go inward and look within. We can't find ourselves in outside places and outside sources. What is happiness and what is success? A bird sitting on a tree is never afraid of the branch breaking because her trust is not on a branch, but in her own wings. The trust comes from within. Therefore, we shall always believe in ourself. Always believe in a positive outcome. The power of attraction is real and the power of the future and our successes comes from within. We gotta believe it and feel it before anyone else. Allowing our hands to come to the side of our bodies, gazing downward towards the earth noticing how we feel, being aware of our feelings within, without judgment. Taking our left hand, placing our left hand on our right knee. Taking our right hand, placing our right hand behind our backs, softly gazing over our right shoulder, noticing how this feels in our bodies. We'll hold this pose for five breaths. in our bodies. Exhaling back to center. Noticing how we feel. Being aware. Taking our right hand, placing our right hand on our left knee. Taking our left hand, placing it behind our backs and softly gazing over our left shoulder. Noticing how it feels within our bodies. back to center, allowing our palms to relax on the side of our bodies, bringing our palms above our heads and our seated salute, noticing how we feel, shoulders are nice and tall, up towards our ears, spinal cord is nice and long, maybe we can bring our palms together above our head, 
exhaling down to our seated prayer palms are together at heart center noticing how we feel inhale relax in the body exhale through the mouth bringing our legs forward in our staff pose maybe we're still sitting on our prop or maybe we're sitting in a flat position. You're noticing as we lean forward here. We are in our seated forward fold, allowing our bodies to completely relax. Gazing forward. As we come back up to our staff pose, shoulders nice and tall, tummies nice and tight. Spinal cord is nice and long. Inhale. Exhale. Finding our bodies becoming nice and relaxed. Next breath, maybe we can come onto our hands and our knees if we choose. However, we can stay in our seated pose or we can stay in our laying position. Whatever feels good for you. If we are in our tabletop, ensuring that our hands are beneath our shoulders, our knees are hip distance apart, tummy is nice and tight. Gazing forward as we drop our bodies down, our tummy comes down. We feel a curvature in our spinal cord. Our chin comes slightly up. We are in our cow pose. Noticing how this feels within our backs. Exhale into our cat. Our chin comes towards our clavicle. Our spinal cord comes up to the back like a scared cat on Halloween. Noticing how we feel. As we drop back down to our cow, spinal cord is sunken, tummy goes towards the mat, chin comes up, our back is sunken down like a cow. Noticing how this feels. Being aware of the movements within our bodies as we breathe back to our cat. Chin comes towards our clavicle, spinal cord comes up in the air. Back to our table, relaxing our bodies, crossing our feet behind us as we find ourselves back in our seated pose. We are in our seated position. Maybe allow our feet to come forward. We are back in our staff pose. Both of our feet are parallel. Tummy is nice and tight. As we lean forward once more into our seated forward fold, reaching down to our lower legs or reaching down to our feet, the bottom of our feet, if we're able to reach and allow our bodies to completely relax here. Nice, relaxed breath. As we come back up into our staff pose, noticing how we feel, tummies nice and tight. Leaning forward to our seated forward fold, being aware of how we feel, relaxing downward. back up to our seated position, crossing our legs in our easy seat, lotus, half lotus, noticing how we feel. Exhale to seated twist right side, left hand to right knee, gazing over that right shoulder, feeling a spinal twist here.
Exhale and back to center. Spinal twist, opposite side. Right hand goes on to the left knee, gazing over that left shoulder. Exhaling back to center, noticing how we feel. Allowing our legs to relax in front of us. We are back in our staff pose. Leaning forward, relaxing our bodies. Gazing downward. Exhaling back up to our staff pose. Exhaling back up to our staff pose. Finding ourselves in a seated pose. I am sitting in a cow face. Noticing how we feel in our pose. Noticing a pose that we chose to sit in. Being aware and taking notice. Gazing downward towards the earth. Bringing our palms together at heart center. I ask, what is awareness to you? And when we are aware of our thoughts, emotions, feelings, what do we do with that awareness. What can we do to cultivate more happiness and strength into our lives? What can we do? Awareness is the key for change. Without awareness, without realization, we continue down the same path. We do the same habits and we do the same patterns. That doesn't get us anywhere. What is feeding us? What is offering us hope and inspiration? What is bringing us down? I ask that we critique what awareness means to us. I ask that we critique how situations, people, things, etc. make us feel and make the proper adjustments to cultivate happiness and positivity within our lives. Mindful of anything. Inhale. Exhale. Allowing our shoulders to relax downward away from our ears. Allowing our hands to relax beside our bodies. Maybe if we're in a cow face, we can connect our hands to our feet, simply filling our feet if we choose. Placing our hands on the side of our mat if we're not in a cow face. If we are in a lion position or in our beds or in our chairs, simply Placing our hands at the most comfortable place that feels good for us. Remembering and understanding that my voice is just a guide. I make suggestions. But you have the final say and a final decision. Awareness of your power within. Awareness of your intrinsic abilities throughout life. 
throughout life, our intrinsic abilities, our choices makes our reality. Our perception is key to our reality. As we close this session, we ask ourselves, are we aware? Do we realize our triggers? Do we realize and see the things that have a positive or negative effect on us? And if we do or if we don't, what changes are we going to make to become aware? If we are aware, what changes are we going to make to ensure that we are only allowing positivity into our lives? We have that power. It comes from within. What we let in, the thoughts we let in, the thoughts we feed, that is our choice. But it starts with being aware. Of course, if we're not aware, we can't control it. Once we are aware, this is where the power comes into play. Awareness is key. Bringing our palms back together at heart center. I'd like to thank you for allowing me to guide you here today. It truly was a pleasure. I'd like to thank you for joining me here today in our week two stress reduction course. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Until our next session, peace and blessings be to you. And may we continue to cultivate and work on our awareness. Peace and blessings. so much and I'll see you next week for week three. Have a great day. Peace and blessings.